yes no more procrastinating today is the day oh my gosh i'm really excited Ta-da! hello everybody welcome to my channel my name is nalia i am an african girl living in africa specifically in mozambique mozambique is a beautiful country and i decided to open this channel i've actually been thinking about this idea of creating a new youtube channel for quite a while now but i have been procrastinating <laughs> but today is the day no more procrastinating and I feel like it's time for me to share with you what I have and I I want to make you smile and I want to show you how we live here in Mozambique and I really I am really fascinated about village lifestyle so you will be seeing this kind of videos as well when I go to my grandmother's village to visit her and I will take you along with me <laughs> guys i'm really uh, excited and nervous because this is my first time this is my first youtube video on this channel for those who do not know i do have another youtube channel where i speak turkish and of course because i speak turkish 90% uh, of my audience is turkish <laughs> that just means hello friends basically in turkish so i opened a channel where i speak turkish and i feel like it's time for me to um, reach a wider audience and i want to get to communicate speak with people from different places across the world so i feel like i should open this channel where i could create english content or content in english so um let me know in the comments if you have video ideas please i would really appreciate if you share them with me on in the comment section down below for this video i'll just be talking with you guys it's going to be like a sit down videos where i talk about myself there's a tag on youtube like um fun facts about me or get to know me i will tell you things that that you probably don't know about me and so i feel like you should watch this video until the end because as we get through the end i will give you some amazing information about myself so please watch until the end don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't already guys i want to thank the 3000 people that have already subscribed even though we do not have any videos oh until today we didn't have any videos on this channel but they really did subscribe and it means that you really love me thank you so much for your support and um I will try to add Turkish subtitles on these videos although I cannot promise that I will be adding in all my videos because um, adding subtitles is not that easy it's time consuming and I have a beautiful daughter which just woke up right now um, so as I was saying I am a mom so I may not have enough time to always add subtitles but i will do my best guys so thank you so much for your support and do follow me on instagram my instagram is nalia andre so let's get to this video uh, get yourself a cup of tea if you prefer because i know turkish people like tea or maybe you can grab some turkish coffee or whatever you want to drink um i'm going to drink just water just to stay hydrated <laughs> i got myself this bottle of water i really really love drinking water <laughs> so yeah are you ready guys can we start i guess we can i will be telling you some really interesting facts about myself <laughs> we can get started but guys um sorry i need to say i need to say this um now that i'm filming in english that i'm speaking english i feel like a whole different person i feel like i have a different personality when i speak english and when i speak turkish i feel a little bit more turkish now that i'm speaking english i feel like i'm a different person there is this saying in turkey um they say like there's one person one language they say bir dil bir insan one person one language i feel like it's kind of it does make sense to me whenever i speak a different language i feel like a whole different person i don't know it's just me do you feel the same let me know in the comment section down below oh of course because i have written um some facts about myself on this notebook because 
I don't want to forget anything that I want to say to you guys. That's why I wrote some notes. So the first fact about me is that my full name is Nalia Andre Congolo Titus. <laughs> Nalia, why do you have such a long name? Nalia is my first name, Nalia. And then Andre is my father's name. My father is Andre. Congolo is my father's surname. My father's surname is Congolo. Congolo. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't know that because I don't usually use my surname. I just use my uh, father's name, which is Andre. Like many people know that I'm Nalia Andre, but I guess you didn't know my surname is Congolo. <laughs> so Congolo is uh, a typical surname here in Mozambique. And we also have surnames such as Seifani, Matenene. We have Magiguana, um, Zimba, Tembe and uh, Titos is my husband's surname. So my full name is Nalia Andre Congolo Titos. That brings me to the next fact about me, which is I am married. Yes, guys, as you can see, I have this wedding ring on my finger. I got married last year. Was it last year? 2021, yes. I got married last year, so I am married and my husband is Angelo Titos. I guess you'll get to see him on my next videos. He's quite shy. He doesn't like to be in front of the camera, but sometimes at least he is going to come here and say hello to you guys. So yeah. Another fact about me, I have a beautiful daughter. She is gonna be six months old on the 25th of May. No. 23rd of May so she's gonna be six months and she's the cutest baby ever uh, she's such a blessing in my life and in our lives and um, yeah her name is Aisha seven years ago I got an opportunity to study in Turkey which is one of the best thing that have ever happened to me I moved to Turkey a very uh, different country and it was actually the first time I got in a plane I traveled to another continent and it was such an amazing experience I'm really I'm grateful for that and I can also add that I didn't write it down here but I can also say that I have a degree on international relations yes i did study international relations in turkey and i have a degree you guys <laughs> i can um, speak seven languages which are portuguese portuguese is the official language of my country nali why do you speak portuguese well because in the past we were colonized by portugal so that's why we speak portuguese but of course apart from that we have our own um local languages one of my local languages is shangana how do you say thank you <laughs> in shangana basically you should say kani mambo kani mambo means thank you in my language which is Shangana <laughs> and then I also speak Spanish Spanish is one of my favorite languages although I don't get to speak it as often as I wanted to and but I really really like uh, speaking uh, Spanish and the pronunciation the accent oh, that is something that really fascinates me about Spanish language and I really love Spanish and I also speak French when I was in high school I had some French um, um, lessons and then when I moved to Turkey I also met people who could speak French I got to actually how can I say um, um, improve <laughs> I got to improve my um, French although I will not I will say that my French is not very perfect I can understand I can speak it a little bit I could say intermediate level because I don't get to practice it as much as I wanted to and then I also speak a little bit of Italian if you can speak Portuguese Spanish and French you can really understand Italian easily because they are really similar so yeah so there are seven right Portuguese Shangana, Spanish, English, and then we have a little bit of French and a little bit of Italian. 
um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so now let's move on to the next fact about me. My favorite country in the world, after my beloved country Mozambique, I really, really, really love Turkey. I feel like Turkey is more like my second country, like I really love that country. I lived in Turkey for almost six years, six and a half years. I fell in love with the culture, with the food. Oh my God, I love Turkish food. Turkish breakfast is one of the most amazing breakfasts in the world, I would say that. And I also love the fact that Turkish people really, um, um, how could I say, they're really nice people. They're really hospitable. Even though I was very far away from my country, it kind of felt like I was at home, if that makes sense, because they really um, made sure I felt um, welcome, I felt secure, I felt happy. I get, I got to meet amazing people in Turkey. So, um, Turkey is one of my favorite countries. Another fact about me is that I like the idea of a big family, and I feel like um, I like when we gather as a family, family meetings and crowded uh, table, food. I like this idea. That's why my husband and I are actually um, considering having more children. Yes, we do want to have more children. Three, four. But the problem is that um, kids... Oh, sorry. <laughs> the problem is... Oh my god. <laughs> um, kids are expensive you need to buy diapers and childcare it's really expensive but um, our goal is to work so that we can afford to have more kids so we may start trying anytime soon for our next baby who knows <laughs> I've met the ambassador of the Republic of Turkey in Mozambique. Of course, sorry guys, I had to add this because it's such an important thing that happened to me. I would never imagine that I would be able to um, sit in the same table with an ambassador or being able to even interview him. I actually did interview him for my other channel and I get to have his number. I don't call him but... I have his number so if something happens or if I need help I know that I could actually try to reach out and call him so yeah I feel like it's an important thing and I had to share with you guys I am scared of thunder and lightning ever since I was a child I have always been scared of thunder lightning every time there was a thunder I would actually hide under the bed I would cry I would cover myself with blankets because I would actually think that thunder is a person like a bad person who would come to to catch me to eat me so I would visualize this like whenever there was a thunder i would actually think thunder is a person a bad person like a wicked or something like that it was such a horrible feeling even now as an adult i'm still afraid of thunder and lightning but of course now i handle it a little bit more easier than i i used to when i was a child hmm, now i'm gonna tell you about something that is really important for me it's a dream that i have um I have a dream. Nalia, what is your dream? <laughs> My dream is to be able to work with children, maybe a kindergarten, but where I can get to be around kids every day. Another fact about me is that I do not wear makeup. Yes, um, I do not wear makeup. I don't know how to even do my makeup. If you ask me to do my makeup, I will just look at you and ask you to do my makeup. <laughs> the next fact I'm going to talk about is actually related to my mom. My mom actually quit her job as a teacher to become a tailor or should I say fashion designer because she's really good at what she does and um, yeah she had this passion about um, um, designing clothes and then she decided to quit her job just to follow her passion and actually by doing that she ended up earning a little bit more she's not rich or anything but she really got to increase her income by becoming a fashion designer uh, actually when I got married I didn't have um, an idea about what kind of dress no 
sorry i had an idea about the dress that i wanted but when i was looking on the internet i couldn't find a dress that i really liked so that i could show her to uh, make that dress for me so she actually designed my wedding dress we also designed my sister's um wedding dress why do i say we because i kind of gave her the main idea mom i want these parts to be like this like that and then she was like drawing it my sister would say mm, Nasia, why don't you do this nalia sorry why don't you do this and do that so we actually combined our ideas and at the end we came up with this beautiful wedding dress <laughs> when my sister got married we also actually tried to combine our idea so that she would come out with the perfect wedding dress and i think her wedding dress was also stunning really beautiful <laughs> Another fact about me is that I do not have a favorite color. If you ask me, Nalia, what's your favorite color? I would say, I don't know. I like all colors and I really just can't decide. When it comes to clothes, I think orange looks good on me. When I wear orange, I feel like I look more beautiful. But apart from that, if you ask me, is it your favorite color? I like orange and I like um, yellow, I like white, I like blue, I like all colors, so I do not have a favorite color. How about you? I really wonder if there is someone like me who, who says they don't have a favorite color. Please let me know in the comment section down below. Another fact, this is fun, <laughs> is that I do not like to tell people my age. I don't like to tell people my age. As I mentioned before, I have another YouTube channel. My subscribers ask me sometimes, Nalia, how old are you? And I never tell them my age. I don't know why. I feel like maybe because of the place where I was born, like nobody, I mean, especially the ladies, you never ask the lady's age and she doesn't want to say it. So um, we just don't say our ages. We just don't tell anybody. Of course, my family knows but and close friends, but we just don't put it out there for the world to see. <laughs> Another fun fact about me is that I'm really creative at night. I'm trying to change it and become a little bit more normal, like work during the day. But I don't know, there is something about nighttime that, sh that awakens something in me. Like, I may be sleeping, over the sudden I will wake up and say, oh my God, I got this idea. I need to write it down. I need to edit some videos. And most of my videos are edited at night. I do edit my own videos at night. I can spend hours and now hours at night working on something and I don't get tired. But during the day, I feel like I get lazy or easily distracted by the nose of other people. So that's why I feel like I'm more creative at night. And my husband said, Nalia, why don't you behave like a normal person yeah another fan facts about me this is not good I'm not proud of it I should change it I'm actually trying to put an effort um, to change it but I procrastinate quite a lot another fact about me is that I'm really clumsy like um, I break things easily I may be holding a cup of tea and it will just fall off my hands I may be holding a plate or any other object and it will just fell off my hands I don't know how it happens and um, another thing that I do is that for example when I'm cooking I do burn myself a lot I just got burned I guess two days ago and it's really bad as you can see here and here I got burned ironing my clothes look at this i also got burned uh, cooking here childhood <laughs> memories and i don't remember what happened here but it is all result of my clumsiness i am really clumsy sometimes i do forget uh, people's name trust me there are people that i know for years and until this day can't remember their names Especially if they're not really close to me, like people that I only know, I talk to them sometimes. So I do forget um, their names easily. Especially in Turkey, uh, where the names were a little bit different from the ones I know or knew at the time. Like for example, we have different names like Gamze, 
like Onur, like Sevgi. We do not have these names here in Mozambique. So I used to uh, find it really hard to memorize people's name or remember people's name. But even though in Mozambique that we have people with common names that I'm used to, I also can't remember names. Is there someone like me watching right now? Please let me know. But it is something that really uh, embarrasses me sometimes. We may be eating and I just drop the fork unintentionally. Something I actually have something that I want to show you. Look at this phone. This is my old phone. It is all destroyed. It is broken. All result of my clumsiness. The last fact about me, if you're still watching, thank you so much. I'm gonna tell you the last fact about me is that I really like um, creating videos, um, creating content about the way we live here in Africa. But we are actually very kind, we're actually happy people and I want you to know um, this side of Africa that the media don't, uh, that the media doesn't portray. It. So, if you really wanna see what's ahead, what's coming, make sure to subscribe. And I really wanna thank those of you who subscribe to my channel, for those of you that watches my video, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for helping me continue doing what I really, really like, which is um, making videos for you guys. Thank you for making it possible. I really appreciate your support. And oh, send me questions that I will answer in my next video. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, first follow me on Instagram because I will ask you to send me questions so that I will make a Q&A uh, video. Thank you for watching guys. If you have made this far, you are really, <laughs> really, really amazing. And thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.